I'm in downtown El Paso outside of the Sacred Heart Church where hundreds of migrants have been sleeping here, some for days, some for weeks, uh, as Title 42 is set to expire in just a few days. They woke up this morning to a flyer that had been distributed by Border Patrol mentioning to them that if they had crossed illegally, they had to turn themselves in and start the application process to apply for asylum. Some of the families we talked to that had crossed illegally were concerned that if they turn themselves in, they would just be deported back to Mexico. So for some folks who have applied for asylum and have started that process and have a sponsor or family member in a different city, they have to get to that location themselves. We talked to one gentleman who had been working here for about a month painting houses to save up money so he could get a bus ride to Denver to meet family that he had there. For a lot of these people I talked to that were here sleeping on the street mentioned to me specifically how much safer they felt here in El Paso than they did in Ciudad Juarez, for example. One woman mentioned to me that while she was there, she was there for about a month, uh, she was worried about cartels. She had guns pointed at her. So being here, even though they're literally living on the sidewalk, felt like a relief from being over there for so long. Thank you.